Now, it is no secret that I am like obsessed with bows. I actually have a bow ring on right now and I did not do this intentionally. I just wear it all the time and I'm always just kind of sneaking bows in whenever I can, like on my shoes. I have like little cosmetic bags with bows on them. My purses have bows on them. I just really like bows for some reason. I was thinking and I was like, what could I do because I love bows and I really want to incorporate them into a hairstyle. So I thought that I could make a bow out of my hair. So that way it just kind of blends in and it's not as striking as like a bright bow that's made out of fabric or flowers. I've seen so many types of bows. The possibilities are endless. So I came up with this hairstyle. It's super quick. It just consists of these really loose kind of messy waves that you can literally do in under five minutes because it's so quick. And then I will show you guys how to make the bow that I have in the back of my head here. But yeah, I should probably stop talking and jump into the tutorial. So the first thing I like to do is brush my hair just to make sure there aren't any tangles. And I like to part my hair in the center, but you can part your hair wherever you'd like for this. Now, since we will be heat styling, it's very important to use a heat protectant. And this one from Tresemme is my all-time favorite. So that's what I'm using, and I just spray this all over. It's really lightweight, so it doesn't weigh my hair down. And I also like to put a little bit on my hands and just kind of run it through the front sections of my hair, just to make sure those areas are covered as well. And then I brush it through with a brush to make sure everything's evenly distributed. Now, I normally use the New Me Curl Jam 32 millimeter barrel to curl my hair, but today I'm going to be switching it out by pressing the little button here, and I'm going to change it to the 25 millimeter barrel. And I love this wand because it's so versatile and you can change out the size, and you can see the size differences between the barrels here. Then I just turn on the wand by pressing the power button, and you can adjust the temperature to whatever temperature you'd like. I normally stick with 180, which is the default setting, and this is 180 degrees Celsius, by the way, just so you know. So what I like to do first is kind of smooth out the little wavy bits that I have near the roots. So you don't have to do this, but I just prefer doing it like this as opposed to using a straightener. I just think it's faster. And then I am just gonna take sections of hair and curl them around the barrel. And you don't have to worry about being perfect with this because we kind of want that messy look. So I like to grab different size sections and just kind of wing it and not really focus on making it perfect. And you only have to leave the hair on the barrel for like five to seven seconds because these curling wands stay hot and they curl really fast. I also like to finger comb the curls just to kind of loosen them up so they're not super tight ringlets and that creates that messy look that we're going for. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all over my head and I like to spray the sides as I finish them so I'm just using some hairspray here and then I will move on to the other side and if you're interested in getting this curl jam wand it is seriously awesome and I've used it for like the past six months so much. I will have a link down below for you guys. It is just the best wand I've ever used. Once I'm finished curling, it is time for one more spritz with my L'Oreal Elnet hairspray, and then I'm left with these really pretty waves. And you can stop here if you want, but I'm gonna be moving on into the bow. So just grab the top section of your hair and separate it. And I like to leave the front bits down just to kind of frame my face a little bit more. So now you should be left with like this little mini ponytail. And you're gonna pretend like you're making a regular ponytail, except on your last loop you're not gonna pull it all the way through so you're left with this little bun when you divide the bun in half it creates little loops that will end up being the loops in our bow you're just gonna want to flatten the little loops out and then secure them with bobby pins and I normally use about three or four for this like one at the top and one at the bottom for each side and you're left with this really cool bow shape but now we want to cover up that middle section so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of hair from underneath and bring it up around then secure it with a bobby pin you're gonna be left with a little extra guy like this piece here so I just take it underneath one of the loops and pin it into place and once you do that you are left with a super cute little bow like this one. 
So that is it for my hair tutorial and see I told you it was super easy, super fast and I think this is a perfect look to wear to class. So it's just a fun way to change up your everyday look and if you don't want to wear the bow you can just wear like these loose curls if bows aren't your thing because these are still really quick and easy to do. And I don't know why I'm doing this but I am. If you have any back to school video requests for me leave them down below in the comments or you can tweet them to me at Miss Glamorazzi on Twitter and I am just constantly taking in requests so you never know you may see your whoa well, well, here I go again with the request you may see your request in my next video. Oh, make sure you check out the newest episode of Make Me Over on Awesomeness TV. We did a really, really cool makeover, totally different from our usual makeovers. It was a surprise, and I think you guys are gonna love it. So I will have that link down below for you guys. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today, and I love you, and I will see you guys later. Bye!